guys, it's Sam and this is my spoiler free review of Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. This is the first book in the Lumetier Chronicles which is a YA slash upper YA fantasy series. Each book in the series is a companion novel and it follows a different character but the characters are introduced in the other books as well. So the character in the next book, that's the protagonist from the next book, is introduced in this book. So you still stick with the same characters and see what the characters are doing throughout the series, but it's just not the same protagonist each time. This follows the main character of Finnegan and 10 years ago the kingdom of Lumetier that he is from was taken over and a curse was put on it. So half of the people from the kingdom were exiled and couldn't get back into it and the other half were inside and there was no contact with them. So for the last 10 years he has been roaming around and has been one of the apprentices to the former kings former advisors. They were roaming around trying to contact all of the other exiles as well as find a new place for them all to live, but then they come in contact with a temple acolyte who has some interesting new information and everything kind of takes off from there. So this story was very hard to summarize. I was having a hard time kind of figuring out a synopsis for this because it is so detailed, but at the same time it can be a little bit confusing. So something is off with me and this book. I was completely expecting to jump into this and adore it and it has all the elements that I usually really appreciate. It has a kingdom under siege by magic, it has all of these elements of really strong female characters, there's a number of female characters in here who are very strong, and it just has all these magical elements that I would really enjoy. It has like culture and religion is a major part and everything like that, but for some reason I just could not connect to this book and I'm not sure why. First off, let me talk about the world building. Again, the world building is something that I really should have enjoyed. There are a bunch of different people from Lumetier and the different regions of Lumetier and each one of them has kind of a different culture and they're kind of like different countries within that country and you come in contact with all of them and that's a very cool thing and they all also have different kind of religions and stuff like that. But I still found it lacking in some way. It wasn't necessarily that it was even info dumpy at the beginning, but you do get thrown in and there's not there's like these missing threads that for some reason I was just not latching onto and I don't know why. So I was having a hard time really kind of feeling for like all of these exiles and the situation they're in. It was rough. There's also a lot of politics in different cultures with all the countries that are surrounding Lumetier and there is a giant map in here that kind of shows everything and I still was having a hard time and typically speaking I really enjoy the like, political intrigue and how different countries are kind of interacting and the scheming and stuff like that and this had that element to it and I still just wasn't grasping it for some reason. Next let me talk about the characters. I generally enjoyed a lot of the characters but again I had a hard time really connecting to them and feeling for them. Finnegan as a main character I don't know what it was. At times I was thinking like if this was a female character would you like her more? And I still don't know if that was like the disconnect that I was having but I've read a lot of books that have male protagonists so it's not as if like I'm not used to that but for some reason maybe it was also because he was like 19 and 19 year old guys are in that really weird time period just like what are you doing and there was a lot of kind of miscommunication in this book so there's also a love interest in here for Finnegan and most of their relationship kind of evolves around this miscommunication and them keeping things from one another and just like not saying what they feel which for a while is fine, but then when it was continued to happen it just got annoying. Like even though there's perfectly good reasons for that, it still had that element and also I had this element of insta-love with them which again makes sense later on with some of the things that are happening, but it just, it was already, it already planted the seed of just like uh, with me and so I ended up kind of not really attaching to them very much. Which is a shame because again they both have personality traits that I typically enjoy in characters but I just wasn't into it. As far as some of the side characters though I do like them a lot and most of them were the adult characters so there's definitely a lot of adults in here. Like I said before this kind of is upper YA so all of the other like the kid characters are older teenagers for the most part and then you have a lot of adults that they're around and you kind of get some of their perspectives as well like it doesn't always take place just in Finnegan's perspective. You kind of get chapters of them here and there. And I really enjoyed those characters a lot more and I wanted more of them and we don't really get a ton of them. We might get more of them in later books and kind of the things that they are going through and everything but I really appreciated them a lot more. So it was really like disconcerting with this book and how like it had all the elements that I should have liked and then just didn't. Last thing I want to talk about the plot. The plot again was something that I felt like was very slow and drawn out for a while. Again we have this miscommunication plotline happening, we have a lot of these like secrets, there's constantly secrets happening, which again for the political situation makes sense but is also like 
really annoying for most of the book. So I would say that I didn't get into this plot until about 100 pages were left of it. Then I really liked it and I would really would have liked the whole book to be like that. But things kind of start taking off, action kind of starts happening. And it's not like the rest of the book I needed like action action to happen in but I just wasn't connected to things they were doing and it just was really dragging itself out. So the last quarter of the book I really enjoy that. And that does give me hope for the rest of the series. While I was reading this, I was updating my Goodreads and just saying how I wasn't connecting to it for some weird reason. And a lot of people commented and said they really loved this series, but they didn't love this book as much as the last two books in the series. And that when they reread the series, they just reread the last two books. I have series like that, the Shatter Me series, for example. So I get it. And I think I will like the other books more because this book, especially even with the plot situations, like it felt like very foundational. And the thing that was happening in this book happened slowly and then really quickly so then the rest of the series is going to be affected by those events so I'm interested to see what happens with that but this book overall it wasn't a bad book again it had a lot of elements that I really should have enjoyed but I just didn't connect to it but I am looking forward to the rest of the series and I hope I enjoy it more especially because that last little bit I really did enjoy so it gives me hope for the rest of the series. I gave Finnick Another Rock 3 out of 5 stars. So comment down below and let me know what you thought of Finnick Another Rock and let me know if you read the series and you also feel the same way that the first book is not as good as the last two books. I had high hopes I was really going to enjoy this series because I've been looking forward to it for years. I've had this book on my shelf for years and I want to like the rest of the series. I have hope. I'm just nervous now. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!